Hello everyone, I've implemented some vision for the creatures now. Here's the first attempt. Each creature has a ray extending from their body, and if a tree or mushroom intersects with the ray, the new vision input neuron is set to 1. I also changed the eye colour to red to more easily see what's going on. I used the existing collision detection optimization of only checking objects on the tiles immediately surrounding the creatures, which is why I haven't implemented seeing fellow creatures at this point. We'll pretend everyone is a ghost for the moment. I've also implemented sexual reproduction. A new creature will be bred if two creatures are touching and both of their spawn output neurons are greater than zero. However, the only thing this really appears to do is slow down the evolution, as not only do creatures have to get selected to set their spawn neuron to a positive value, they also have to be lucky enough to bump into another spawning creature. Creatures that are born to multiple parents now have a black outline, so we can tell the difference between randomly generated creatures and spawned ones. After about 3 million ticks and 250 generations, I didn't see very specialised behaviour. Some of the creatures straighten up their movement when they see something, but it's very subtle. For comparison, the teleporting creatures in my last video were filmed at about 400,000 ticks. So anyway, I learned a bunch more collision detection algorithms and implemented some better vision. In the version I'm seeing now, the creature can see in a roughly cone-shaped region in front of them. Once again, this vision neuron is set to 1 if food or trees are within the cone of vision. I'm also allowing creatures to spawn without a partner again, if they choose to. It has a higher cost to them than picking a partner, and they have to have a higher value in their spawn neuron to do so, so hopefully it should be balanced out between the two ways. So random creatures are now shown with a grey outline, while single parent creatures have a white outline and dual parent creatures have a black outline as before. So what's actually evolved? I think this batch of creatures reached a local maximum because it was a group of backwards moving creatures that took over first, rather than forward moving ones. However, they've had a good shot at it. When they hit a tree, they spin around until they can see it, and then the vision neuron triggers a slight push away from the tree. It rather reminds me of how astronauts move around in space by pushing themselves off of things. They aren't particularly hardy though, and the population keeps on wavering around 100, so the program generates a random bunch of creatures from time to time. Perhaps eventually an improvement would pop up, but uh, oh, this one just killed itself by having a child. And there goes that lineage. Next video I'll show you how the creatures evolve when they can see each other, and perhaps I'll split their vision into left and right. If you have any suggestions or there's anything you'd like to know, let me know in the comments, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.